So let's say you are open 24 7. 24 7 means every time, every day. You cannot use this. Yeah. But let's say you're open on um, every day of the week except for Sunday. So six days a week except for Sunday. You have business hours. Sure. There's nothing wrong with that. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday. And then we have the weekends. So we have the weekend here. Sunday, Saturday. So um, Saturday, Sunday. So let's say you're not open on Sunday. Okay. But let's say your customers say, hey, um, I prefer that you are uh, longer open. So do not, you will not close at 6 p.m. And you will close at 8 p.m. Because it's convenient for me to come to the store to buy your products. And you decide to change your business hours. So it's easy, right? You can send everyone an email and then you can change your business hour. So what can you put in the email? So this is your company and you have a lot of customers. Seriously, you have a lot. For them, it's important to come to your, to your these are all customer, to your office and you extended your hours. So what do you need to put in the email? So let's look at it. So let's say you're going to send an email to everybody. What can you put in your email? That's technically it. So you put subject. We have extended our business hours. Business hours. Right? You can start this. If you send this to um, some people, make sure you write their personal name. If you're going to send this just as a, as a general email, you don't have to put the, uh, the name. Yeah, keep that in mind. So we're gonna go to this and then you can simply write, we have extended our business hours to accommodate our customers needs we are now open from and then you put the hour let me copy this because i think we really need it and then you put am to hour again pm And then you can put, this is for people that have, uh, when they have a um, simple, simple hour business. Let's say, what I mean by simple is, let's say every day you're open from nine until six. You can put it like this. But if you have different business hours on the weekends, you cannot put it like this. Best way, which best thing which you can do is, make a table on the table you can see with on which day are you open and what time i think that's more clear because people just look at the date or the day and then based on that you see oh on wednesday you're open until six yeah so it's more convenient if you look at that way so we we hope that you that you will Take advantage of our longer hours soon. Yeah. So here you say we have extended. That means when you send this letter, you already extend those hours. Do not send this letter when you are going to extend the hour in the future. If you are going to extend the hours in the future, you need another letter. Keep that in mind. So technically, it's that simple. We're going to go and get the signature that we can use in this letter and then we are finished for this with this letter so like I said in many video you can put your own signature it doesn't matter and this is a template you can use it however you want if you have question what you can do is just go to this page 
matizbio.link. On this page, you press on the law center and on the law center there, you can ask me question about this stuff. Yeah. So this is about this letter. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. I'm waiting. Subscribe. See you guys in the next video. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.